to the entertaining Talking Sports. What is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video. A little early morning video up for you guys today. I saw an interesting story on Giants Wire uh, reported initially by the New York Post. Before I get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone. Uh, that came into the live stream last night. But yeah, we're going to talk about the potential trade down for the New York Giants. The Giants, of course, I've talked extensively about the Giants potentially trading out of the number four pick. I've also talked about that they may not be able to find a trade partner. Now, why does it sen uh, make sense for the Giants to trade out of four? For the same reason it would make sense for the Giants to trade down at 36. They feel like they could get the player they like at their pick maybe seven, eight, nine picks down in the second round, much like it, you know, in the first round, maybe two, three picks down, they feel like they could get that same player and accrue some assets. In addition to that, the New York Giants, of course, lost Leonard Williams, I mean, uh, traded for Leonard Williams, and they lost draft picks because of it. So they have a huge gap between 36 and 99. A lot of people ask me, uh, you know, where's the spot where the Giants could trade up? At the back end of the first round, I said the 49ers at 31 because they've got a huge gap from, you know, all the way from 31 to the fifth round, and they're going to be looking to get more draft picks. But the same can be said for the Giants. They don't pick for over 60 picks after that 36 selection. If they have a, a trade partner where they could find a spot to trade down, it only makes sense. And last night I talked about that Matt Hennessy, I thought, was moving up on the draft chart for the New York Giants. You've seen him being linked more and more to the Giants over the coming, uh, you know, over the last few days. Uh, the center prospect out of Temple, who grew up a New York Giants fan, and maybe he is the guy they'd have have their eyes on. Most people would think that it's too early to pick him at number 36, and Bad Dog pointed out maybe the Giants would look to trade down. Well, this is exactly what, that, what this article is about. And I, I looked over the second round order, and the team that would make the most sense to me would be the Chicago Bears. The Bears have two picks at 43 and 50. Now, I don't think you'd get both, but maybe you could get the 43rd or 50th pick if you traded down from 36 and then get the third round pick on top of it, which would kind of fill in for the void that you lost with the Evan Ingram trade, especially if you were picking a guy, uh, you know, you plan to pick a guy at 36 that you felt like you could get at either 43 or 50 where the Bears are picking. Just my line of thinking, another team would be the Jets, but the Jets kind of got your pick with the with the um, with the trade that you made to acquire Leonard Williams. So I don't really see that being much of a match. The Bears to me made the most sense when I looked over the map. But let's jump into the quotes of the article regarding the trade um, or potential trade rather, um, and what the New York Giants plans are in this year's draft. And it seems more and more likely that if anything, they'll be trading down, not trading up. Now I wouldn't rule out the possibility of the Giants trading up later in the draft because they have four seventh-round picks. Uh, you know, and maybe they couple their fourth or their fifth and try to move up and get an earlier pick in the late third round or something along those lines. But if it comes to early, earlier in the draft, I would expect the Giants to try to trade down at either four or 36. Four to me makes the, mo the most sense because, you know, uh, you're, you're still getting your first-round pick, um, whether it be the offensive tackle or Simmons if you trade down to five or six. But like I always say, the trade partner has to be there. But here is the quote from the uh, Giants Wire that was initially reported by the New York Post. League sources told the Post if the Giants do not trade down at number four, a second round trade back at number 36 will be considered strongly. And that scenario is actually, uh, that, and that scenario actually could be the internal preference for restocking depth. And if Matt Hennessy's their guy or if there was another guy at that pick, say they want to go center even if it's Cushenberry, and they feel they could get him at 43, 44, 45, and there's a partner there, it makes sense for the Giants to try to trade down. Now, of course, I would not make this trade until I knew who was going to be there at number two, uh, at number 36, rather. If Ruiz is there, or, you know, if there's an unforeseen prospect there where the Giants are picking, it doesn't make too much sense. Now, they don't necessarily have to go center if they trade down, depending on the assets they get. If they get an early third-round pick along with a mid-second round pick, they could take a wide receiver in the mid-second, take a center at the top of the third. The Giants would have a lot of options if they were able to orchestrate that trade. But it looks as if the Giants will at least entertain the thought strongly of trading down on draft night, and I think they should. I've been talking about this for months. They have a lot of holes on this football team, and by trading down, it would give the Giants the ability to fill in more than, you know, than they could at this point in time. You know, you go back, look at that Leonard Williams trade. We all hate it because there's a lot of players that we would have liked to take right around that 70 area. 
that they no longer could. Well, if they could find a partner, they might be able to get that pick back or, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, a semblance of it. As always, guys, if you liked what you watched, please subscribe, drop a comment, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.